Hey guys, look back here and welcome to another FIFA 20 ratings predictions video and today we're going to be taking a look at Atletico Madrid, one of the other big European teams that has had a very interesting transfer window, signing a lot of big players, obviously seeing one massive player go in Antoine Griezmann, but in my opinion, really, really developing their squad with a lot of exciting, young and some experienced talent as well. Now in the first two episodes, I did cover Juventus and Manchester United and obviously today doing Atletico Madrid and then after that, I'm going to be doing Arsenal because they're another team that's had a very exciting transfer window as well. Well, I'm going to continue to do these run-ups, maybe two of these every single week or something like that, on the run-up to early September when we should be getting the top 100 confirmed player ratings, in which there's no real point to do speculating ratings at that point once we've kind of got like, the top 100 players pretty much confirmed. But uh, one of the disappointing things is the league does obviously kick off this weekend. I do predict that Athletic Comedy will actually win the league this season. I don't think Royale and Barcelona and any of the other teams are simply... I just don't think they're as good as Atletico uh, from what I've seen so far in preseason. I know it's preseason and stuff like that, but I, I think Atletico will uh, win the league of this season. But also the main uh, problem is anyone in the UK doesn't have any choice to watch any of the league game. Uh, obviously, it was an 11 Sports last season who took it off Sky. Sky haven't gone in for a bit. 11 Sports, their company has just gone downhill. They lost Serie A uh, rights midway through the season because of how poor their subscription base was, and they haven't been able to retain the league. And their Premier Sports have tried to put in like a late bid. I don't know if it's been confirmed or accepted or anything like that, but... Um, yeah, it's a very bad move. I don't understand um, why no one's put in a bid because there's a lot of people like myself that actually enjoy watching La Liga, but... Um they decided not to do anything. So anyway, obviously we're here to focus though on the Liga and the ratings for Atletico. The first one is going to be Jean Felix that obviously was one of the most highest, I think he goes into the top five highest transfers of all time and now he, he's had a fantastic season for Benfica, obviously did well with them in the Europa League, got a man of the match card in FIFA, got a team of the season card as well in FIFA and uh, you know got a hat-trick against Frankfurt in the quarterfinals first leg. They would go to be knocked out of that particular round uh, by, by losing uh, away. But um, yeah, he had a 69 rated silver card at the start of FIFA 19, I predict he will have an 81 rated card minimum. Um, because of his high transfer, you have got to give him a highly rated decent card. You can't give a player to cost over a hundred million pounds. You can't give him less than an 80 rated card. You just simply can't do that. But at the same time, I don't think he deserves to be like an 83, like or, or, or a walkout player or anything like that, because he hasn't done enough. Just he's had one good season. He doesn't deserve to have like a board, be a board player or be a walkout player. So I think 81 rated, 82 rated is kind of where he's going to be. 20 goals and 11 assists in 43 games a season is fantastic. Fantastic. He's also been doing well for them uh, preseason as well. Absolutely destroyed Real Madrid along with uh, Diego Costa as well in the preseason game. So definitely uh, a nice rating increase for him. But uh, the second player we're going to have a look at is going to be Oblak, Black. Arguably one of the best goalkeepers um, in the world right now. Probably the best goalkeeper in La Liga. The only goalkeeper that can probably really rival him over the past 12 to 24 months would be to Stegen. Obviously Courtois is a very good goalkeeper, but he's only been back in La Liga for 12 months and has struggled to be able to get into the starting 11 with Kaylor Navas. Um, also getting quite a few games as well. So that position at Real Madrid is a bit weird in terms of who is the main goalkeeper. But Oblak, 46 games in all competitions last season, keeping 24 clean sheets. Atletico have been very well known in the past to be a very... To, to be a team that gets 1-0 wins. You know, get that first goal, have a fantastic defence, have a great defensive record. I think they did have the best defensive record in the league last season. I think if you go past, like, the maybe go from, like, the past five seasons, they've probably been, like, the best team defensive-wise in terms of least goals conceded. But, um, yeah, absolutely fantastic goalkeeper, all black, and... Uh Looks like he'll stay at Atletico, and um, I would go over one rating increase going from a 90 to a 91. The next player is going to be Jimenez, and there's no doubt he's going to play a much more important role this season. You look at Atletico, and you look what happened to the defence. Haran Fran has gone. Uh, Godin has gone. He's now moved to Atletico, uh, sorry, to uh, Inter Milan. He was obviously their captain, their main player, who they looked for inspiration. You know, he was their leader in the defence, similar to obviously how you see Van Dijk as the leader in defence for Liverpool and stuff. So Jimenez has got to try and step up, you know, fellow countryman of Godin as well. He needs to try and step up and be the main central defender. Obviously, Atletico have signed other defensive players. Karen Trippier from Tottenham's a fantastic signing. Hermoso from Espanyol, a very good, young, talented central defender as well. I'm not sure if Felipe Luis is, a, is still at Atletico Madrid. I don't think he is. And I'm pretty certain Atletico have signed 
find like a youngster for the future in that position as well. But overall, defensive wise, look very good. Only 29 games last season. I don't know if that was down to maybe injury wise or just you know having to compete with the likes of Godin and Savage to be in the main defensive position. But um, I do expect he'll start a lot more games this season. You know, didn't get any assists, got two goals, which isn't too bad for his position as well. And he still had a great defensive record. So I think he's done enough to keep his 84 rating. But I'd be very surprised if we would see an increase on him. The next player is going to be Diego Costa. And I have gone with a one rating decrease on him purely because of just his age. I believe he's 32 years old now. And obviously, EA, one thing they tend to do as players get older is just decrease their ratings year on year on year. Obviously, the prime examples of that would be an Iron Robin, uh, Ribery, uh, Ibrahimovic, how we've seen their ratings and their pace in particular be decreased. And I think we will see a decrease on Costa's pace. Maybe even more than a free rating decrease. Maybe his pace might go under 70. Who knows? But, you know, overall, eight goal contributions in 21 games last season. That's still a decent return. Obviously, he's had a very good preseason as well. Scored four goals, I believe it was, against Real Madrid. And obviously, imagine to get sent off, which is just classic Diego Costa. But, um, yeah, very good player. I think he's still got more than a part to play. Will he be the main player for Atletico in terms of goal scoring this season? Probably not. I think Morata and Jao Felix are going to be seen as the main players, as well as potentially Thomas, Lamar, uh, Thomas Lamar to be the main players to try and uh, bring the goals in but I think Diego Costa's still got more than a part to play but in terms of his FIFA cards I think just purely because of kind of a lack of games to an extent and also just with his age I think we will see him have a one rating decrease however with, with that return he definitely deserves to keep like an 84 rated card at minimum there's no question about that the next player is going to be Saul I've continued with him keeping his 85 rated cards 45 games last season nine goal contributions six of those being goals arguably he should be maybe getting a few more assists than that from a central midfielder but that's just an absolutely insane return six goals from that position I think is actually a very very good return that's why I've gone with the two rating game the, the two shooting rating increase uh, obviously again another midfield that's going to have to really once again step up to the mark this season he did so last season for Atletico but once again he's got to do that now and be the main leader as well as Thomas Partey in the midfield because they have lost Rodri to Manchester City who is a very talented um you know, uh, player for Atletico last season as well. But I think Siles more than capable of being able to do well for, for Atletico next season. And I think he deserves to keep his 85 rated card despite only having one special UEFA Europa League base card. Um, he is very underrated and a very, very talented player. And I think he should keep his 85 rated, in my opinion. Next player is going to be another of their new signings, Hermoso, who did sign from Espanyol. 35 games last season in all competitions, uh, getting three goals. Didn't manage any assists. Did get himself a team of the season card as well with absolutely insane pace. I've gone with his base card to have 86 pace. I believe his card last year was a 77 rated gold of like 85 pace or something. So he is going to be very... With the fact that he's just gone to Atletico, he will be... Over 10k at the start of FIFA 9, sorry, at the start of FIFA 20, easily for the first, probably probably for the first few weeks, um, he'll be over 10k, maybe even 20k, you know, purely because of how easy he's going to be linking to, you know, in terms of nation, club, you know, he, he has now joined one of the top three teams in the Liga, no disrespect to Espanyol, they're definitely like the top seven best teams in the Liga, you know, history-wise anyway, but Atletico is obviously a step up for him, he's going to have to step up as well, I think he's going to be able to do so, he's got good guidance from like Sir Savage and Jimenez there. It would be nice if he, if Godin was still there just to allow Hermosa to maybe get even more experience from one of the best ever defenders in Godin from Atletico. But the fact that Godin has gone means to me that Hermosa has got more of a chance of playing next season. That's going to be him, Jimenez and Savage fighting for those main two centre-back positions. I think it's going to be him and Jimenez that are going to get the, uh, get the start and Savage is going to be like the backup uh, central defender. But uh, yeah, Going with an 80 rated card for him. Moving along into the next one will be also a new signing, Kieran Trippier. Obviously had a overall a decent season for Tottenham last season. You know, um, we did obviously see the introduction of Aurea. I believe he came in last year or was it FIFA, or was it the year before? I think it was last year was his first season for Aurea. But um, Trippier still made his, you know, still played a big part last season. 38 games, one goal, five assists. Obviously got Tottenham. Uh, it was part of that Tottenham team that got to the UEFA Champions League final where they were beaten by Liverpool. And, you know, had some great comebacks against Ajax. Comfortably beat Borussia Dortmund um, had an amazing comeback in the group stage they beat uh, who else did they beat they beat City as well of course which is fantastic and um for me, just based on that, and you know, being very solid for England as well, he deserves uh, a, a, a definitely a one rating plus increase. I'm very excited to see another English player because obviously you, you got Bale and stuff like that who's Welsh, but to see an actual English English player in. La Liga, that's a good one as well. It's going to be fantastic. And uh, unfortunately, I will have to watch him on Dodge streams for next year, but um, for this upcoming season. But yeah, I'm very excited to see what he can do. He, he's a very good player. I, I like him. I like him a lot more than Kyle Walker. And I, I just... 
yeah, I just like him more, which is a bit weird, but uh, yeah, Kieran Trippier with that 83 rated card. Moving along into the next one is going to be Thomas Partey. Had a very good season last year, 42 goals, sorry, 42 games, uh, three goals and six assists. For the position that he's playing in, six assists in 42 games is fantastic. That's why I've gone with that four passing increase, but just in general, uh, you know, a nice increase to his cards, um, you know, to get nine goal contributions again from that position is absolutely fantastic. I believe he also scored in the UEFA Super Cup or the um, Spanish Super Cup as well or something like that at the start last season but uh, once again very talented player very lucky to be able to keep him again obviously with Rodri leaving as I mentioned before for Saul he's going to have to really continue to step up to that mark and be one of the main you know central defenders um, central defensive midfielders in Atletico because they don't really have anyone else that can play the centre defensive um, midfield position and I think he plays that role brilliantly so Definitely a, a nice increase on him. We're going from an 82 to an 84. Uh, three more players to go. And the next one is going to be Koke. Now, I have gone for a position change for Koke because he was given a left mid card last season. However, I've got the... Um been doing my research. I've got the stats somewhere. Uh, for Koke last season, he played only six games of his 41 games at a left mid. He played 23 of his games um, at a right mid, obviously with the rest being played as a central position. But overall, most of his games were played in that right mid position. So based on that, he should be given a right mid card for FIFA 20. And if he isn't, then EA clearly aren't doing their research and... That's bad on their part, but uh, six goals and seven assists. We all talk about him being a very poor player to use in FIFA because he isn't great in the out wide position because he lacks in pace and stuff. But in terms of, you know, it'd be so good if he was a central card. I don't want him to be a right mid. I don't want him to be a left mid, although he will probably be given the, left, the right mid based on, you know, where he's played IRL this past season. But I think as a centre mid card, be fantastic to use in terms of FIFA. But good return, keeping his 85 rated card and, um, yeah, Again, very, very solid player for Atletico. Uh, and obviously, he's going to have to try and take that position up. I think he played on the right mid, mainly because Gelson Martins just didn't work out at Atletico. And he went, obviously, to Monaco, like, in January or something. So, I, I presume that's why Koki's played so much at a right mid position. Because, obviously, Lamar is on the left-hand side. So, that's why I've gone with a position swap, obviously, for Koke as well for FIFA 20. The next card, the penultimate player, is going to be Thomas Lamar. An arrival from Atletico that um, kind of struggled at the start of the Liga. Obviously, not as much as Gelson Martins. Um, or... Was he from Monaco? Was he from Lyon? I'm pretty sure he was from the French League. It was either Monaco or, or something like that. I might be getting mixed up. I'm not too sure. But uh, was linked to Liverpool as well. But that didn't work out in the end. But uh, 43 games, 3 goals, 6 assists. He's got to get more goals next season. I think he will keep that 83 rated card because of those 6 assists. But he's got to get more goals next season. And I think he will do. He's had, a, once again, a decent preseason. I think he scored in their last game against... Um, I can't remember who they played a few days ago. But they won 2-1. I think it might be in Roma uh, or Milan. Something like that. But um, I like the guy. I think he's a very good player. Looking forward to seeing what he can do next season. It's going to be interesting to link him up with like of Fakir as well uh, who's obviously joined Real Betis but um, yeah I think he will keep his 83 racing and then the final player will be Morata, who I uh, once again have decided to keep at an 83 rated 41 games this season. Some of those were at Chelsea, overall scoring 15 goals, uh, playing for both Atletico and Chelsea last season, registering one assist. I have gone with a free shooting um, overall increase on his card because 15 goals in 41 games, considering he's had to like switch teams, playing a different league and stuff like that. So overall, get 15 goals in 41 games isn't a bad return. I think he'll do well in the league last, you know, next season. He's proven himself to do okay in the Premier League, Syria, and La Liga with quite a few, you know, with quite a few different teams, Chelsea, Juventus. It's Atletico, uh, Real Madrid. So, in my opinion, I think he deserves to keep the 83 rated cards. And that concludes all of the 11 players for Atletico Madrid. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. I will be covering Arsenal in my next video, maybe later on this week or this weekend, something like that. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.